We will talk about stomach pain after eating, the top 7 causes and treatments. If abdominal pain starts regularly within 15 to 30 minutes after eating, it is more likely a gastric ulcer. The presence of food in the stomach stimulates gastric acid, further exacerbating the pain. If pain occurs on an empty stomach, at night, waking the person up, or within two to three hours after eating, it is more likely a duodenal ulcer. The duodenum, the first part of the small intestine, is exposed to stomach acid when it is empty, which can irritate the ulcer. Eating food or taking antacids neutralizes the acid, providing temporary relief. Pain after eating a fatty meal is more likely caused by gallbladder issues. Fatty foods stimulate the gallbladder to contract and release bile for fat digestion. If there are gallstones, these contractions can cause pain due to the blockage of bile ducts. Pain usually starts 1 to 3 hours after eating and affects almost 15% of the general population, making it a very common condition. The pain is cramp-like and sharp. In this case, gallbladder pain often radiates to the right shoulder blade or upper back. Anti-inflammatory pain relievers and antispasmodics like buscopan and dicyclamine can be used. If symptoms continue or worsen, surgery, cholecystectomy may be needed to remove the gallbladder. Another common cause of stomach pain is lactose intolerance. Symptoms such as bloating, Diarrhea and abdominal pain occur after the intake of milk or dairy products. This happens because some individuals lack the lactase enzyme, leading to improper digestion of lactose, which is then fermented by gut bacteria, resulting in gas and bloating. Symptoms usually occur within two hours of consuming dairy products. Lactose intolerance affects about 65% of the world population to varying degrees. Lactose intolerance causes lower abdominal pain. The solution is to avoid dairy products or consume them in small portions and gradually introduce them to the body. Most people will tolerate them better over time. Yogurt and hard cheeses are often better tolerated because the fermentation process reduces lactose content. Spicy foods can cause gastroesophageal reflux disease, good symptoms. For people who already have heartburn and acid reflux, spicy food further irritates the esophagus lining and relaxes the lower esophageal sphincter, allowing acid to reflux into the esophagus, exacerbating heartburn symptoms. Additionally, fatty foods can increase the production of stomach acid, which can worsen symptoms of acid reflux and gastritis. Symptoms can occur within minutes to hours after eating spicy foods. Good affects about 20% of the population in Western countries, with pain located in the mid-chest or upper abdomen. People describe it as a burning sensation, heartburn, chest pain, and often a sour taste in the mouth and regurgitation. Fourth, high-fiber foods exacerbate irritable bowel syndrome, EIBS. Pain usually occurs in the lower abdomen, with cramping, bloating, and discomfort. Symptoms include diarrhea, constipation, or an alternation between the two. Around 10% of the world population is affected by IBS. Foods that cause IBS symptoms are called high FODMAP foods and include fruits, apples, pears, mangoes, cherries, and others vegetables, onions, garlic, asparagus, artichokes, cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts legumes, lentils, chickpeas, black beans, and kidney beans wheat and wheat products the solution is to switch to low FODMAP foods for at least four weeks and then gradually introduce high FODMAP foods in small portions. Low FODMAP foods include bananas, blueberries, strawberries, and grapes, as well as gluten-free bread, rice, oats, quinoa, lactose-free milk, hard cheeses, and lactose-free yogurt. Soluble fiber like psyllium can help with symptoms, but avoid insoluble fibers like bran and whole grains as they can worsen symptoms. The fifth most common abdominal pain associated with food is caused by high fructose foods. These can include almost any fruit and sweeteners, which can cause diarrhea, bloating, and pain due to fructose malabsorption. 
Improper absorption of fructose leads to fermentation in the colon, producing gas and gastrointestinal symptoms. In such cases, avoid fruits with high fructose-like apples and pears, as well as honey, and implement foods with lower fructose-like blueberries, strawberries, oranges, kiwi, and grapes, which are generally better tolerated. Some probiotic strains, such as Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium, may help improve gut health and reduce symptoms. Eating large meals can cause bloating, a feeling of fullness, and tightness in the abdomen due to gas buildup, as well as nausea, vomiting, and sometimes heartburn. Discomfort usually occurs in the upper abdomen, and diarrhea or loose, watery stools often follow a very large meal due to the rapid transit of food through the digestive system. A large meal is subjectively defined, but generally considered when a person eats more than 1,000 calories in one sitting, or double or triple the volume of food they usually eat. For example, an entire pizza is considered a large volume meal. Eating large meals can have many long-term negative consequences like gastroesophageal reflux disease, gastritis, fatty liver, weight gain, and obesity, and is not recommended. Eating small portions slowly is the solution in this case. Lastly, fried foods and fatty foods can exacerbate pancreas pain in people prone to pancreatitis. This is why the general recommendation is that boiled is better than fried. For the gallbladder and pancreas, fatty foods are additional stress. Also, high-fat foods slow down the stomach's ability to empty its contents into the small intestine, which can lead to discomfort and bloating.